Are you ready for the most biased review I have ever done? Let's go, this is the TGS gun. So let's roll back the clocks nearly a year. Once upon a time, the Pro Black comes into the shop with our rep who sells us yield it rich. And I got talking to him about, I really like the Pro Black, you know, I think it represents great value for money. It's basically an MX-12 inside. It's nice, it's cool. It's actually really well made. They shoot really nice. Wish they did a 32 inch fixed choke. And to which he goes, they, they can do most things. To which I said, could they make a one to our spec? And he goes, Let's have the conversation. So, some months roll by, we have a few conversations here and there, this and that. And over that time, I come up with a custom spec that I quite like. And now they're here. So let's start by talking about what they look like. Well, at the back you have a one inch foam pad. It's got this ceiling on the outside, but it is quite givey. It's not too bad. What that leads on to is the exciting part, is this stock is 15 and a half inches in length, including the one inch pad. And as such, you have 14 and a half inches in wood, which is more wood than just about anywhere else gives, gets, gives you. Yes, it's long. There's no denying that it's long. But the beauty of this is that we can shorten it down, or anyone can shorten this down to make it the right length without having to put huge hideous pads on. You know, we have a huge run of people who like longer stocks, but don't want massive pads. So the beauty of this is we could pop it off and put even just a little five mil pad on there, and that's gonna take it down to 14 and three quarters. Happy days. Which I thought was quite nice, and more importantly, allows you to have as much beautiful wood as possible, because we spec it with all grade five wood. Here's a couple of examples in front of you. I quite like them. I do feel a bit salesy doing this, which is a little bit weird, guys, but I am genuinely excited because these are kind of like my babies, you know? To the point, obviously I'm gonna have one, and this is the ultimate replacement for my Maruku that is actually within my, the realms of my achievable possibilities. Grade five wood. Uh, so on the adjustable one, you have a drop of one and a half and two and a half inches with the adjuster. So we made it a little bit lower so that you could use the adjuster to pump it up and give you the cast possible. This is also a little bit straighter in cast than the other. They all have quite a lot of pitch and about a quarter of an inch of cast. You have a full pistol grip. My only downside to this is that perhaps you could do with a larger cutout at the top to take your hand, but actually once it's mounted and in a position, it's not too bad. It's only when it's sat down in the ready position, your hand feels a little uncomfortable. But there's nothing you can take out. It is designed to fuse your complete and whole hand. This is not a gun for those with small hands, by the way, because I am barely touching the trigger there with large av to average size large hands. The action is a blacked action with TGS on it. I don't know, that's really childish and really cool. But you know, that fills me with joy, actually. Um, so we have TGS in small with beautiful border work there. Sits on the bottom, on the sides, and on the top lever. Apart from that, the whole thing is extremely plain and unexciting. Uh, we opted for this purely because I really like plain black gum. It's quite smart. Uh, and short of spending a lot more money to get it engraved or hand engraved to any spec that I'd be happy with. Oh, there you go. So this Turkish Parazzi with TGS written on it might not look that exciting on the action, but for those who like playing guns, they'll appreciate it. Comes with a five-year warranty. That's also quite nice. So mechanically inside, there's nothing to worry about. And a stock of spares is kept in the country. So it's not like other brands where you might be waiting a little time for any repairs. The stock on the fixed version is one and a quarter and two and three eighths a drop. So there's quite a lot of pitch there. And it does make for more aggressive style of shooting. It has half an inch of cast. So it comes up quite flat if you've got a hard face contact but it will suit those who it suits, which is nice, which is most of the people here. The forehand has a two-piece iron and has a little replaceable part in there that's just gonna keep your gun feeling tight. And they give you the first oversize for free in a little packet, as well as two Allen keys with the adjustable and no Allen keys with the non-adjustable. Well, they do give you a stock bolt key, but where we stock the stock, we spec the stocks with longer wood, actually the stock bolt key doesn't work. So just a 10 mil key will suffice to take it on and off if you'd like. The machine work and quality on these really is unbelievable. And I've said that for the Pro Black as well, but I just like that it represented great value for money, great machining, and a nice amount of hand finishing for a price that your average guy can afford. And that price actually will be in the description below because we still are working out how much these are um, because they literally are that fresh in, which is exciting. 
I think you'll agree that the wood quality on them is superb. I, I'm really happy with how these have turned out and I'm really looking forward to selecting mine out of the bunch and going and shooting it. Barrels wise, you have a vented mid and vented top rib. The top rib is a tapered 10 to 6 mil rib, which is quite nice really. It is really nice, provides a great sighting plane. Screw and bead sight comes in red, but I'll soon rip that out and put a brass one in if it was mine, which it will be. Uh, choking wise, they are steel proofed 3 inch magnums, but they choke 5 eighths and 5 eighths, which is as much as they get away with going to steel proof. Would I put heavy, high performance steels through them? Probably not with the slightly over exaggerated chokes but they'll take it, so crack on. The beauty of this is it makes it future-proof, just in case we have to go down that road in the future, which we probably will. Balance-wise, they're both balance kind of different, and having held a variety of them, the density of the wood has a huge effect here, especially in the adjustable combs. The adjustables are teetering on the edge of back heavy over the hinge, whereas these are ever so slightly in front of the hinge. Obviously balance is a hugely personal thing, however, most shooters will agree that this will provide the most versatile of feels. Weight wise, it's quite heavy. This one is eight pounds, and this one is eight pounds too. So there's not a huge amount of hardware weight there, but enough, certainly. Uh, the hardware wise, it's not particularly exciting hardware, and there's, there's a slight downside as it's not the most Gucci, but it will perform perfectly, which is kind of good enough, right? I say good enough. Once you set this thing up, you're not gonna need to adjust it that much anyway. So it's just two keys, take the top off, exposes a large single piece base plate with two screwed pillars. Fairly simple and allows you plenty of adjustment. Negatives? Well there's clearly none is there? Um, the end. No not really. Um, the only negative I can foresee is that perhaps the blade of the comb is a little bit fat. So I can foresee in the future perhaps us shaving a few off for those who fancy something a little bit more game looks because it does look a bit chunky and a bit trap-esque. I don't dislike it but Everyone prefers a nice taper, in reality. Just would help with the lines of the gun. Well, I don't want to say any more about it now, uh, but you're going to see one of these shot in the not too distant future. And I look forward to it thoroughly. Guys, take care, goodbye. And we'll see you next time.